Mom gives birth to four babies, then doctors realize one of them is not a baby. When Madison Collier got pregnant earlier this year, she thought she was expecting just one baby. Instead, at her eight-week appointment in April, Collier, 33, from Marietta, Georgia, learned she was pregnant with quadruplets. I don't think I'll ever fully get over the shock, Collier, who's also mom to four-year-old Isla, told Fox News. Collier said she wasn't on fertility treatments and she doesn't have a history of multiples in her family. So when the ultrasound technician told her she was going to have four babies, it was quite a surprise. According to Jackson Health System, the chances of naturally conceiving quadruplets is 1 in 700,000, while a majority of quadruplets are conceived with the help of medical technology. Madison and Justin Collier are pictured with their four-year-old daughter, Isla. Collier told Fox News that she and her husband, Justin, 34, had planned to have only two kids, but that changed when she went to her doctor's appointment. At first, Collier said the technician was quiet, so Collier asked if the baby was all right. He said, yeah, the babies, okay? And then he said, there's just more than one, Collier recalled. I started kind of panicking, Collier said. Then she said she told the technician it wasn't a funny joke. He was like, I'm not joking, and he counted them on the screen for me, Collier added, and there they were. Collier said she was unprepared to welcome four new babies. We don't have a big enough car, big enough house, she said. Collier said her husband Justin had to lay down on the floor when he heard the news about the quadruplets because he was feeling faint. As for big sister Isla, her response was, well, that gives me lots of kids to play with. Collier gave birth to the quadruplets on September 3rd, three months before her original due date, she said. The two boys, Calloway and Wilder, and the two girls, Iris and Eliza, are still at the hospital where they'll be until November. Collier said her newborns are doing well. They're very, very sweet. They get lots of love, she said. It's definitely going to be a wild ride. I think when they come home, it's going to take an adjustment, but we'll get it, Collier added. As the Colliers continue to wait for their four new bundles of joy to come home, Collier said she's most excited for Isla to meet her new siblings. Isn't a normal baby? Forty perfect toes and forty perfect grasping little fingers. First-time parents Bethany and Tim Webb of Hythe, Atlanta, welcomed four identical baby girls into the world on Friday. The exceptionally rare, naturally conceived identical quadruplets were delivered by C-section at the Neonatal Intensive Care Unit at Edmonton's Royal Alexandra Hospital. Weighing between 3 pounds and 4 pounds, 1 ounce, the girls are all in good health. Really kind of overwhelmed, said Bethany, 22. There's four little babies in the world now. Very good, though. I'm glad they're doing so well. They're strong like their mom, added Tim, 23. Tim said the birth was easily one of the most nerve-wracking moments of his life, but the fear he felt inside the delivery room soon evaporated at first sight of his daughters. My heart was just pounding, he recalled. I felt as if it was a magic show. It was one baby, two babies, three babies, and then four babies. It was a surreal kind of thing. The girls named Emily, Grace, Michaela, and Abigail are so identical even their parents can't tell them apart. Right now, it's easy because the NICU team has them lined up A, B, C, D, said Tim. But once they're out, I have no idea what we're going to do. We're going to have to do something. The couple is considering using various colors of nail polish to keep track of their four bundles of joy. Even just holding two side by side, I can't tell them apart at all. It's really hard, admitted Bethany. After dating for two years, the couple married in June of 2015, but weren't in any major rush to start a family. They nearly hit the floor when an ultrasound scan revealed not one, but four babies. Good thing that my husband was sitting down. It was a good thing that my husband was sitting down because he almost fainted, said Bethany. The couple who has been living in a one-bedroom apartment are moving into Tim's mother's house. She's offered up the first floor for the family, and we will move to the basement to accommodate the brood. Tim is prepared to be the odd man out. It's a good thing we'll have two washrooms, that's for sure, and I'll have to get used to not having a washroom, living with five other girls. It'll be okay, I think. We'll do okay. 
They're not sure when they'll be able to bring the girls home from hospital, but they've prepared as best they can. With the help of community fundraising, the family is stocked up on diapers, baby formula, and supplies. I'm looking forward to every stage, said Tim, from changing their diapers to eventually one day down the road, we're going to be at their graduation crying. It's going to be so awesome. They're going to be inseparable. They're going to be each other's best friends. Can't wait to watch them grow. When asked if they would consider having a few siblings for the girls, the couple didn't miss a beat. Not sure yet, said Bethany with a grin. It's pretty early for that. Please share and give a thumbs up.